What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to the series where we look at players of the week and do a review of them every week. And there is a lot of episodes that I've done. There's a lot of player reviews that I have done. Today, we are taking a look at the players of the week that were released today, the 29th of September. And we've got a lot of players here, lads. There's a lot of nice kind of little players that you could actually fit into your squad. De La Feo is a good one. Kubo is a good one. Uh, Grealish, Son obviously is the pick. Son is probably, I would say, top 10, even though he doesn't really suit my play style a lot of the time. I will be trying to, to kind of play with him a little bit more. But you've also got the wit and merit. You've got Izzo Balde. There's a load of good players there. One of my favorite right backs of all time in the PES series, uh, Carvajal, is an absolute monster as well. So we are actually going to go over to eFootballDB.com because these players don't have any player levels. They're just got at their finalized stats. So we're going to go over and check them out one by one. We, we are going to be starting with Alex Balde, who plays for Barcelona. But there is, as I said, there's some nice players here. So as I said, lads, we are going to be taking a look at the players and giving you a little bit of a breakdown of them. And you can see here with Balde, there is a lot of players. Obviously, his normal version of the card as a left back, right? The things you're going to be looking at with left back are defensive awareness or else speed. And this guy's got blister and pace. Speed and acceleration is 90 each. Then he's got 85 dribbling and he's got really nice low pass and lofted pass stats as well. His balance and stamina are quite decent as well. Obviously, he's not going to be able to compete with the top class left backs like the likes of Davies or Carlos or Lizarazu or any of those guys uh, because obviously he doesn't have that you know high stamina that's going to be able to get up and down the pitch as you know frequently or as efficiently as some of the beastly guys but he does have some very nice stats and as you take a look here as well at the back of his card we are going to be able to see that he does have early cross outside curler incisive run double touch scotch mood scotch move speeding bullet and amazing run as well so he does have some nice player skills i think he's probably a little bit uh i, I would like to see him i mean if you're getting a player of the week man i don't think you can go much higher than 90 overall for players that aren't like you know top class that's just my opinion and i think that they have balanced the players of the week quite well because if you take a look at balde here right we can actually train him up 62 levels which is a massive amount and just to give you an example of how you can actually train him up we get his dribbling up as far as we can put it we get his speed up as far as we can put it we've got a lot of points to spend here lads now they won't be long going um because we obviously will be able to take a couple of these down because obviously the higher that you go the more uh the more points it costs but we've got 1995 acceleration there which i think is more than enough we've got the 85 balance we've got our low we've got our passing which we can improve a little bit and then obviously our defending is going to be uh not really considered too much but we've got a nice player there we could in my opinion i think take down the dexterity here to get maybe 14 points back we could take down our dribbling to get a couple back we have 18 points then we could pump into passing we could pump into defending uh, which is quite decent here uh, and we can put obviously the other one into aerial strength or whatever way you want to do it and that is kind of how they have balanced the standard players this year is that like as an 82 overall left back he is quite decent and you're not really apart from the passing there you're not really missing out on anything there you've got similar stats across the board so yeah moving on we do have Izzo again we have all these you can go on and compare these guys by just clipping over them here and if you if you make Izzo um you know an 85 overall or whatever you can see there the dynamic changes in the ratings when you hover over the player's card but this guy is obviously as a player of the week he is a center back and again all you're going to want to look for here is defensive awareness tackling and aggression don't worry too much about speed and acceleration this guy is not too bad for monza he is a fairly decent center back but again i think him is and Scalvini, who is a center midfielder, I think the two of those, even though this guy's got a really high defensive awareness, he does be let down with his passing. I think the low pass there and the lofted pass as a CMF, if you are playing a deep lion DMF or CMF, such as Tonali, who's a beast for quite cheap, or Sergio Busquets, or somebody like that, Kovacic or Jorginho, who's got that ultimate passing, uh, De Bruyne, you can play him in, in that type of role as your orchestrator. I think that him and Izzo, 
as well as DeWitt, I think are just probably run-of-the-mill kind of players. Even though they've got a really high rating overall, like 89 overall here for DeWitt, uh, I do think that you will get players that maybe like are 87 overall that you can buy for like 30, 40 grand GP, uh, and they will outperform them in pretty much all areas and all attributes that you could possibly want. I would also probably throw Merritt into this, even though he has got a really nice 86 reflexes. You can get a goalkeeper um, and train him up quite high and just focus focus on the basic stats that you have here uh, this guy does have unwavering form so he might be worth a punt if you do spin him next up we've got Kubo so there's been a lot of versions of Kubo and one or two left to come as well um, his base card is actually quite decent but this is a very intriguing card because if you look at his stats right his speed and acceleration are really really good He's got a CF as his main pro uh, main position his primary position which is the first card that has that. And on top of that, the other version that was released of him that has been the best is this one here. And this card outperforms that by a mile, like by an absolute mile. Now, obviously, his legend card goes up 15 levels um, if we look at that one there. And we could see that, yeah, that would probably make it more in line with this. But uh, I would definitely think that this card is probably the best version of him. 80 speed, 89 acceleration, 75 finishing, 92 dribbling, 92 balance. Absolutely insane. And I think if you are a fan of him, he could be good whether he's part of a three man up front or he's part of a two man playing off somebody like Haaland or Lewandowski I wouldn't play him as your be all like Romario or Romanegi or somebody like that next up we've got De Feo. obviously I'm going to be interested in this guy because he's got those beautiful dribbling stats low center of gravity he's got all that kind of player ID where even though the player ID doesn't really shine through there is glimpses of it in players like De Feo, uh Dembele players like Sané um uh, Kingsley Coleman players like that uh, and his, his stats are inc incredible as well obviously he's let down by the the unwavering form which is only set at two but yeah he's got nice 80 finishing as well as a center forward 91 acceleration 80 finishing 89 dribbling 84 balance and then the passing is there as well so he would be a very decent player if you do pack him in my opinion Carvajal again we talked about Balde at the start is Carvajal going to be able to compare with somebody like Maldini from a defensive standpoint or maybe Cafu from an all-round standpoint or even somebody like Pavard who's like a cheap option that you could buy to be a mix of both of those players Cafu and Maldini or whoever you want to play out in the right flank or your right full. Uh, I think the biggest thing for Carvajal is his stamina right this card very rarely is going to get tired even though stamina isn't a huge factor in the gameplay at the moment. Nice speed, nice acceleration, nice ball control and dribbling, lovely passing, lovely uh, balance, lovely stamina. Defensively, he's quite solid as well. I would love to try this version of Carvajal out if we would be able to, to pack him. It would be great. So let me know if you guys do get him because Carvajal has always been a bit of a monster in the game. So now we're getting into the interesting ones. Xhaka, who again, I just think is a little bit too slow, but his passing is very, very decent. But again, I would be focusing on somebody like Jorginho or Kovacic or somebody if you are looking to have a deep, deep, deep DMF. Maybe Barrios would outperform him in practically everything apart from the passing. So if you are a Xhaka fan, or you're an Arsenal fan or a Swiss fan, Switzerland fan, uh, he might be worth a punt. But for me, I probably won't have him in my squad if I do pack him. And next thing, next up, we've got Grealish, Jack Grealish, who, yeah, I mean, this is an interesting one. And a lot of people have been asking me to do a review on him because his base card is quite decent anyway. And he can grow up to 31 overalls or 31 levels. So you can actually pump up Grealish quite high uh, when he compares to this player of the week. I think the thing with this player of the week card is because he's on unwavering form and you don't have to worry about you know pumping up the stats. 90 ball control, 90 dribbling. I would have liked to seen his acceleration, maybe 88, just to kind of complete this card. And I would have also liked to see his balance, maybe like a 90, because he does have an incredible balance in real life. Um, and if this is the ultimate version of his card, I definitely think that could have improved. But everything else across the board is really, really decent. Now, last but not least, we have got Sun, who... In a lot of people's opinions, Son is probably top 10 players in the game. And this card, while I think there is slightly um, better ways of training him up when you take his base card, right? We've got 22 levels. Are you, uh, you take his, um, his other version here, or you take this version that was here with the, with the featured players, or you take this one, which was part of the featured packs as well. This version, the player of the week, I think has, has pretty much everything sewn up that you could possibly want, right? Now, if you look at this version here, he, he's only like 
lower than him like minus one acceleration but he's got seven levels to go so you can get his acceleration up to 90 but i think this card is very decent because of the finishing this finishing card here is very very high for a winger you can obviously play him through the middle that's how i play him he's got bags of tricks under his belt he's got bags of player skills unwavering form good stamina i would like to see his balance a little bit higher this card has better balance but yeah i mean i'm happy enough if i pull that pack if uh if i do get sun in that player of the week pack i think it's definitely worth a punt if you are looking for a center forward that could do it all so that is it for me lads with another player of the week review let me know if you're enjoying these don't forget to subscribe and let me know as well if you do spin or skip on these i will talk to you later peace